Hey you all, Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from the south. More specifically, we are in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. And even more specifically than that, we are here at the launching station of Ober Mountain, formerly Ober Gatlinburg. It's a long time tourist attraction here on the main strip of Gatlinburg. You take a sky car here, a tramway, that takes you way out into the mountains where there is the other half of the attraction and additional attractions up in the mountains. But actually sits on the main strip here where you get launched into the sky. Um, and I've been here a few times. I've never been, I've not been here since they changed the name to Ober Mountain. Now when I was at the chili cook-off, I had some of their chili, which was quite nice. And um, the gentleman there, I told, I said that I'd not been too back since it was over Gatlinburg. He told me, you gotta come back, it's way better now. So we're gonna see if it's way better, how it matches up to the original. Well, that, we're just gonna enjoy this classic attraction here in Gatlinburg. So please, follow me. and a little bit of roadside attraction history down here at the bottom used to sit uh, Xanadu, the foam house. There was uh, at least three Xanadus, one here, one in Orlando, and one in Wisconsin Dells. They're kind of like the house of the future. They are all gone now, but one of them sat down here right next to uh, over Gatlinburg. I never visited that one, but I did visit the one in Wisconsin Dells, one of my earliest childhood memories, visiting Xanadu in Wisconsin Dells. Does anyone else remember Xanadu? Anyone else been to Xanadu? Leave a comment in the comment section. Oh, looks like they're filling up the tram car there to send another group of passengers in to the sky. Oh my gosh, they are putting a lot of people in there. It is like a flying clown car, how many people <laughs> they are packing in there. And there it goes leaving the station it is so packed with people you see people pressed against the glass there as they head up to the top of ober mountain sailing to over top downtown gatlinburg here So yeah, this is the launching station, but we actually enter from the front, which is uh, part of the main Gatlinburg Strip. And yeah, here we go, right at the end of the strip here sits Ober Mountain. You can see they have one of their, uh, one of their uh, mountain coaster cars out here that you can sit in. So yeah, they have a mountain coaster and then they have the terrifying alpine slide where you slide on like a giant skateboard down Ober Mountain. All right, let's see if we fit. Have the Ober bike patrol vehicle here. And look at over this, we got our snow people. Oh, and they're actually making a little snow bear. Snowmen making a snow bear. But let's head inside. Now one thing I'm noticing right off the bat that has changed is uh, over Gatlinburg, used to have a giant map of Gatlinburg right here, like a, actually like a, more like a model of a little miniature Gatlinburg right here when you walk in. I guess that is uh, no longer here. See the big Ober Mountain logo, which is a, a giant snowflake. I guess we should go ahead and grab our tickets uh, to the top. Okay, so you can get just the tram for $29, or for $49, you get the all-day adventure wristband, which uh, includes all these activities, the aerial tram, ice skating, ice bumper cars, something called the snow zone carousel, the wildlife habitat. There is like a zoo up there. The Tennessee Flyer, which is the um, 
mountain coaster and the chairlift. A few of the attractions are closed for the season, summer tubing, the jumping pillow, but uh, yeah, quite a bit. Oh yeah, don't forget the Smoky Mountain bobsled. So yeah, quite a bit included in a wristband. It looks like we board the tram over this way. So indeed, a lot of people in line here. Are they, I don't know if all these people are gonna fit on one tram. We'll just have to uh, wait and see. It does look like we're boarding, so we'll see if all these people can get on one tram. Kind of a scary thought if you think about it. Okay, the, the tram has filled up, so uh, I guess we'll be hopping the next tram. All right, let's get in the tram, see if we can find ourselves a good spot. Maybe somewhere near a window, so you can get some, at least get some peeks of what's going on. Oh yeah, things are about to get really crowded in here. <laughs> all right, the doors are sealed. We're all in here pretty comfy inside the tram. Oh, there we go. We are moving. Uh, you can see the sky bridge over there. Heading up towards the first tower here. The carts do kind of a swing as they uh, as they pass the towers. Here we go. <laughs> so yeah, beautiful 360 views from the tram car. Unfortunately, there is quite a few people in here uh, with me. Come during the slower times, you maybe get a little better view of what's happening outside of the wind. Yeah, we're sailing high above Gatlinburg here. And someone's phone is going off. It's been going off the whole time since we left the uh, <laughs> left the launch point, and it just keeps ringing. No one's answering it. Here comes the uh, other tram. The trams are all on the same lines. They move at the same uh, frequency. Oh, bear alert! Bear alert! There's bears in that yard right there. I don't know if you guys can see them. There is four bears right there in that, that person's yard. This house here is interesting. It was actually built as a replica of uh, Barbie's dream house. They said originally was originally was pink, but they've changed the colors over the years. Yeah, look how far Gatlinburg is back that way. That's pretty crazy. Right, the highest tower here, the highest point of our trip. Okay, gonna do the gonna do the big swing here. The biggest swing of the trip. So we go up the tower. Go up the tower. And swing. There's your Oh, wow. Now we are headed into the station. Oh, another swing. The views up there are spectacular. I want to thank you both for flying with me. Yeah, my name's Ron. You guys were great. I was awesome. And they do have a parking lot for people that people that hate trams. All right, folks. Straight down through the double door. So we made it up to the top. I think we should check out the zoo first because they said that it closes at 4.30. So see if we, think, we see if we can see a bear. Some bear statues here. And this bear is pouring the honey out of his uh, beehive. Yeah, they have a little zoo up here with some bears and other animals in it. Of course, saw four bears 
uh, on the tramway. I don't know if that, you know, I don't know if you guys could see it in the video. I zoomed in, tried to get get the bears. They were just hanging out in someone's yard. Of course, it was some distance. But I swear, I have been seeing so many bear over here in Gatlinburg and in the Gatlinburg area. I have probably seen as many bears this year as I've seen in all previous years. And Jen had never seen a bear before, and she's seen like five bears this year. So I don't know if the bear population is going up, or maybe the human population is absorbing the bears, the bears' territory. But there does seem to be a real uptick in uh, bear sightings here. But this is the, this is a uh, bear sightings done done easy because the bears are just hanging out in their uh, habitat while uh, and you can come and uh, gawk at them. Oh yeah, there he is. Big old scruffy bear right there. Just kind of hanging out on the rock. Looks like he had some uh, cantaloupe for lunch. Hey, Mr. Bear. Did you enjoy your cantaloupe? And there's two more bear in this bear pit over here. This one over here is uh, taking a nap. Oh, maybe they weren't eating uh, cantaloupes. Looks like they were actually eating pumpkin. There's a smash pumpkin there. Maybe uh, maybe the bears were out doing some vandalism on Halloween night and smashing some pumpkins. Is he doing hiding behind the log there? Yeah, that bear. That bear's really tired. And here right next to the bear enclosure, we have some bees. I gotta lift the cloth here to see the working bees. Oh yeah, they are hard at work there. Hard at work making honey. I wonder if the bears get to eat any of the honey that the bees make here. Is it real? Oh, here comes the bear. He's going for a little walk. Oh, sniffing some food. Hey, bear. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy bear. Where's he going? That is such a big, bulky bear. I always notice the bears in captivity are so hefty. They just, uh, in nature, they're much more skinny. You always see them at zoos. They always uh, look rather plump. Some eagles up there. We got both a golden eagle and a bald eagle. Get to see the smaller animals. We have to head over here into Critter Cave. It says nocturnal animals, no excessive noise, please. Bats don't want to hear your constant yammering. Okay, so they have a white raccoon named Casper. Let's see if we can spot Casper here in the rank. Oh, there he is. There's Casper right there, the white raccoon, hanging out with his other raccoon buddies. Oh, he's very pretty. Love raccoons. Oh yeah, there's a lot of raccoons in here. These raccoons are pretty fun. Oh, where'd Casper go? Did he disappear like a ghost? Well, there's a lot of raccoons in there. I see at least five raccoons. They're all prancing around. Oh, I smelled these guys when I was walking in. You got a couple of striped skunks there. Very adorable. I think skunks, one of my favorite animals. I'm not a fan of like how they smell or the fact that they may cover you in stink liquid. But they're, man, they're so cute. Remember a time where I was driving home late at night and I saw a mother skunk with her little tiny baby skunks trying to cross the street. And I turned on my blinkers, got out of the car, stood in the middle of the road and blocked traffic until all the skunks walked by. Have some fish in here. It's a uh, red-eared slider turtle. And in case you were wondering what was going on in all these animals' heads, here's their skulls. It's the black bear skull there. And a wide variety of different skulls. Some otters in here. There's one hiding under the bridge. Oh, there he is. Head down this tunnel to get a peek inside the otter enclosure. Any otters over here? No. 
Any otters in here? No. Well, we gotta find we gotta find an otter. Any otters in here? No. And we exit the zoo through the zoo gift shop. Yeah, you can get your plush Casper. There, the white raccoon here at Ober Mountain. And of course, all the plush black bears you could ever want. You can even get one wearing the uh, Ober Mountain t-shirt. Yeah, they do have a bunch of Casper merch. The Casper magnet. And the, uh, got another magnet. Okay, I think we're gonna head out back because uh, they said the back section closes at uh, 5.30, so we want to get a chance to uh, do some of the activities out back. Of course, got this big uh, ice skating rink here, kind of the center point of this upper area. I like the vibe here. It's kind of a retro vibe here at, uh, at Ober. The, <laughs> the bumper, ice bumper boats there. But uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna head outside. People hanging out here, out back. And look what we have. They, um, the pumpkin people have left Gatlinburg and been replaced with the snow people, but there's still one more pumpkin person hiding up here at uh, Ober Mountain. Just hanging up here, drinking beer, maybe trying to get away from, uh, from the snow people. But now it is time to get even higher up this mountain. We took the, the, the tram all the way to the top of this mountain. We got to get to the top of that mountain using this uh, chairlift. Oh, here it comes. And sit. Oh, lower the bar, and there we go. Off even higher up into the Smoky Mountains. There's a lot of chairlifts here. This one over here, there's always been a chairlift here, but it looks like they're doing some renovations, maybe putting in a new chairlift. Um, these are for the ski hill. They do skiing here as well. So yeah, you got all these different chairlifts. And it looks like, yeah, quite a bit of construction. I think this one might be new too, although I'm not sure. It's been a little while since I've been up here. Over here you can see the uh, alpine slide where uh, people slide down the mountain on kind of a sled with wheels, kind of like a giant skateboard that you sit on with your bottom and it uh, glides down the uh, hill. It's pretty terrifying. Yeah, this was one of the first chairlifts, I'd say the, one of the first like three chairlifts I ever went on. First one I ever went on was at Ghost Town in the Sky. I think I did the one at the Sky Bridge before this, but I remember, man, I was so nervous. This bone might have been before the Sky Bridge, I'm not sure, but I was just white knuckling it. Just that, um, oh man, just that being that high up in the air, it just really freaked me out. But I've become desensitized over the years over filming these videos and riding so many different, uh, so many different chairlifts. It doesn't even, doesn't even, doesn't even register as a, as a, as a stress point or a thing anymore. Just dangle my feet with joy. I can hear some uh, some sliders coming down the alpine slide. See how like those banked curves there? That that still sketches me out. It's still pretty, still pretty sketchy. <laughs> I have more people coming down the slide. I'm trying to remember how you get on the slide. I think you may have an option to disembark the chairlift if you want to slide, or you can take it all the way to the top. We're gonna go all the way to the top. Maybe we could see if we can uh, get on the slide um, on the way down. Now, you see, I have like a lever in front of you that can like operates as a brake, so you can kind of control the speed. Whoa, we just got a big bouncy bounce there. Yeah, I don't know if I've ever been on a chairlift this springy. Look how it bounces there and it like hangs way lower on this side because there's more people on it <laughs> yeah 
Yeah, this is kind of an old school chairlift as far as the chairlifts in Gatlinburg go. I wonder if this one is being constructed as a replacement. I'm not sure. Yeah, they're not really cranking down on the speed because it is incredibly terrifying. So they're not going very fast. I'm probably gonna be going slower than them. Yeah, it's crazy to think. We took the tramway all the way up here. Now we're taking this other massive chairlift to get even higher up. I don't know, this may be the highest, as far as the vantage points in, um, in uh, Gatlinburg, I'd say this is probably the highest, the highest up you get. I think uh, Anakisa would probably be next, the Sky Bridge after that, and then, uh, and then the Space Needle ranked in that order. Oh, I hear some rustling in the woods. It's probably a bear back there. Okay, so the sign says you have to get off here if you want to do the alpine slide. You can't do it on the way down. I still want to go up to the top, so I guess I guess we're going to go up to the top, go back down, go halfway back up, and then do the slide. Dang it. Yeah, I really wish they would let you go to the top and then just do it do it on the way down. It seemed more efficient that way, but I'm sure they sure they have a good reason. I think I'm going to go to the top and check that out first. Thank you. Yeah, see if we would get off here. If we want to go do the slide. Oh, there's the, there's the, the, the whatever you call them. The, the devices you use, the sleds to uh, go down the slide. And we just keep going. Just keep going up. Can you see how high I am up here? Can you see Gatlinburg in the background? <laughs> We are rapidly ascending. There is something over there. I think it's a bear. Okay, I've been thinking I've been hearing a bear in the woods this whole time, but now I see that there is a bunch of chipmunks running around in the in the <laughs> in the bushes, in the leaves. I think that's what I've been hearing. This right at the top is so long. It is we are so high up here. Although I think I think I think we're going to be rewarded. I think we're going to be rewarded with a pretty nice view at the top. Hi, folks. Your chairlift photo is next. Please look at the camera. Give us a big smile. Wait for the flash. Oh. Okay. Here we go. Oh my gosh! Yeah, look at the view up here. There's a uh, viewing platform. I get ready to. Hop off here. All right. According to this, we are on the top of Mount Harrison, elevation 3,590 feet. So it's a little different up here. There used to be a, used to be a stage where they would play bluegrass music. That is gone. Um, they've expanded the viewing area over here, and it looks like they actually do zip lining. From, uh, from this platform. But oh my gosh, look at this view that we got out here. Yeah, this extended viewing platform is uh, definitely a great addition. You can look down and see how high we are up here. Here's the chairlift. You look all the way down there. That is, that is the top building <laughs> to Ober. Gatlinburg and uh, the town of Gatlinburg Gatlinburg is way way out there I don't even know we can even get a good look at it I can't even identify anything down there it's so far away but like I said I don't know if you can beat the view up here that is amazing Gorge, look how far you can see. See if we can watch these guys go zip lining here. Oh, here they come. I hear them coming. There's the zip liners. Oh man. I've never been zip lining, and honestly, I don't know that I ever will. That looks it looks looks like an amazing experience that is also 
very terrifying. Yeah, you see this massive viewing platform here. This is the old platform right here that you would view uh, the view on. They've got, uh, yeah, the map down there shows you what you're looking at. So it looks like that biggest mountain, the big one you see right there in the middle, that is Mount Leconte. The big tall mountain overlooks Gatlinburg. Yeah, let's take one more, one more look at this view. It's, it's something special. Yeah, the big one there, Mount Leconte. See this old Mountain Dew machine here. It says uh, Tennessee Original. Yeah, people people forget, but um, Mountain Dew was made in Knoxville, Tennessee. I think it is time to hop back on a chair and begin the uh, long voyage back down. Oh, here it comes. Sit down and pull the bar down. You got to pull your bar down yourself on this one. Yeah, there is that amazing viewing platform. And as we head down, we get a better view. That's the thing with uh, with chairlifts is the better view is always the uh, the ride back down because uh, your back is to uh, is to the scenery when you're headed up. Oh man, look yeah, look how drastically we are uh, headed downward. So the plan is to go all the way back down, come halfway back up and then go back down on the alpine slide. Yeah, quite a dramatic Hi, descent here. Your chairlift photo is next. Please look at the camera. Give a yeah, down there. You see a lot of houses. I think it's actually, I think Gatlinburg is actually that way. So it's kind of out of sight a little bit from uh, when we were on top. Now there was a little girl when I was laying in line that actually like flipped out. She wanted auto, out of the chairlift and they actually had to hit the emergency stop as they were headed down, um, which I guess is, you know, part of the, uh, part of the fact that, you know, you're facing the more scary direction the way down. So you might be okay going up, but then the real scary part is going back down, but, but you got to go back down. You can't just stay up there forever. So here's the Alpine slide station. I'm guessing the reason that you can't get off when you, uh, when you come back down is it's probably unsafe to have people cross across there where, you know, where, uh, the, the chairs are coming in both directions. And so unfortunately we have to wait all the way till we get to the bottom and come back up. Oh, there's zip liners over here. People on chairlifts, people on slides and people on zip lines all at once. Oh yeah, we're bouncing again. Boing, boing. <laughs> oh, got some turkeys down there. Well, that guy's coming in hot. Oh, get out of the way. <laughs> we have finally reached the bottom, so it is time to get back in line and go back up. Let's head back up. There we go. Put the bar down and we're headed back up to go slide down. So yes, we're about to brave the most dangerous legal activity you can participate in the mountains, the dreaded alpine slide. If you're not careful, it'll shear the skin directly off your bones. You gotta keep everything in the uh, on the sled, otherwise it will be sheared off. You can't go too fast or you'll go flying off. You'll be ejected from the slide and you're in complete control. You never know if the person behind you is gonna be going too fast and is gonna ram into you and send you flying. This is a highly dangerous and highly terrifying activity. Yeah, these bank turns scare me. If you go too high up, you know, who knows, you might flip over. Everyone today looks like they're taking it pretty, pretty easy though. And, and I probably will not be going full throttle on these curves. All right, and here is our stop. I'm going to the slide. 
All right, just gotta right. start running. Appreciate it. All right. All right, waiting in line here to get on the uh, slides. I think we're actually waiting for the truck full of sleds to come by. Oh yeah, I see it just pulled up up there. All right, looks like they're handing out sleds now off the back of the truck. So every once in a while, the truck has to bring all the slides from the bottom back up here and hand them out. Hopefully they have enough sleds for everyone. Oh no, oh no, are they running, are they running out of sleds? Is there enough sleds in that truck? Oh no. Is there gonna be enough? Okay, okay, there's enough sleds. Thank you. All right, now we gotta drag this sled. All right, we gotta drag our sled over to, oh my God. All right, everyone's getting in place with their sleds, getting ready to barrel down the mountain. Here we go, We're on the track, oh my God. There's a lot of rules to the track. So many rules that makes me afraid. You're not supposed to go too fast. You're not, oh, you're supposed to slow down on curves. You're not supposed to go too fast. You're not supposed to go too slow either. Because someone can hit you from behind. You gotta keep moving so that, uh, oh my gosh. We're on the corners here. The most important rule is you keep all your skin inside the sled because the guy said it will give you a free tattoo. All right, let me give you guys a POV. Oh my gosh, the well-worn track here. Yeah, you're supposed to slow down on these banks. You're not supposed to do an extreme curve. Oh no, I feel, I hear someone behind me. It's making me nervous. I think I have to speed up a little bit. There's someone behind me. Take my hands off the brake, they said. So I got, I got my uh, my sports cam strapped to the top of my hand. And here we go. Woohoo! Oh, we're getting towards the end. So yeah, slow down on curves. You gotta slow down on the curves. You speed up on the straights. There's someone behind me making me super nervous. Slow down. It's a slow down, but I don't want to get rammed. Oh, God. Okay. All right. Someone hot on my tail. Someone hot on my tail. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. All right. All right. I think they slowed down. Go a little more. Go a little more. All right, I think it's time to, I think it's time to, to disembark from the track. Oh, there we go. I get that off the track. Oh yeah, someone saw that. She was hot on my trail. She probably wasn't this close as I thought she was. It was just making me super nervous. I was gonna get bam, rammed from behind. Whew. A lot of fun. A lot of like. You know, you feel like it's gonna be dangerous because there's so many rules. Oh, thank you, sir. All right, conquered the Alpine slide. Okay, we head back up this ramp, this gravel pathway underneath the chairlift. <laughs> but no, I think we're I think we're done with the chairlift for now. I don't think we have to do many, any more ups or downs there. See, the snack car here is not currently open. We actually can get a snack out of the snack tram. It is uh, modeled after one of the trams that took us up here. Hey, you can see over here, they've got a big, uh, big TV screen where people are out here in the garden watching football. Yeah, this over here would be the ski hill. Looks like they're not currently doing skiing. That might be a few weeks from now. It's up this way to the Tennessee Flyer, the mountain coaster here at Ober Mountain. They do got some snow flying over here. Looks like they're uh, doing tubing. Now the tubing is not included with the wristband I bought. Oh, oh, here's some. Here comes someone. Someone doing the tubing. Oh, 
looks like fun. But I did want to do the mountain coaster here. You can see a pretty tall mountain coaster goes all the way up there. You can see it wrapping around the mountain here. But uh, yeah, let's hop aboard. So got over here to the mountain coaster to be told that the mountain coaster is closed. Um, they said they have a two hour line for the mountain coasters. They're closing it, which in some ways I do understand. Um, it's very frustrating though when you spend money to do something. So my advice would be to, uh, if you, get, you do get up to Ober Gatlinburg, to go to the uh, mountain coaster first because it closes so so early. Uh, or maybe come during the week when it is, uh, when it is less busy. We've headed back inside here with the, uh, the, the, the bumper boats on the ice and the ice skating. You see they actually have some effects on the ice. That's pretty cool, the sparkles. And uh, I've never been ice skating in my life, so probably not gonna start doing that today. But uh, let's see if we're, we're allowed to get on uh, one of these bumper boats. All right, trying to find a place to uh, get aboard the bumper boats. I do think the projections on the ice are a pretty cool touch. The snowflakes. Yeah, but where do you, where do you, uh, where do you board the, uh, the bumper boat? We're headed into this locker room here. I think this is where we get boarded for the boats. Yeah, there's a skate rental over there, but we're not renting skates. Oh, it is incredibly cold down here. All right, let's go and see where we board, uh, board the boats. All right, let's do this. All right, let's uh, board our vessel here. See if I can figure out how to get in. Have a seat on the edge. Oh, okay. Back. It was just a little bit tricky, but we did manage to get inside the ice boat here. Little controls on the side that control uh, the boat. We can go forward, backward, and I guess if you turn them the opposite ways of each other, it'll the, the boat will spin. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Is that forward. All right. I guess I gotta use. There we go. Woohoo! Do a little spin there. All right, let's head out into the ice. All right. Oh my god. I don't know if I'm supposed to ram people or not. It likes to spin. There we go. Very hard to operate the camera to drive this. Yeah, trying to trying to drive the ice boat with requires two hands. It's very hard to try to film myself while uh, while driving this. Oh my god. Although I may have a solution. See, as you probably noticed there, I had a hard time, because you gotta use both hands to drive. So I had a hard time filming with my action cam. So I think I have a solution this time. I've put on my uh, my chest strap, got the uh, Osmo action there strapped to my chest. And I think it give you guys a better view of what's happening on the boat. Let's try this again. All right, there we go, straight backwards. All right, got a little better control now. That's how you spin. That's how you go forward. Whoa, this will ram some people. All right, let's do some high velocity ramming here. Oh, 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 oh. So, I mean, it's less less impactful than bumper cars, which is good. Do a little, oh, there we go. Oh, I'm gonna spin this way. Oh, everyone's spinning. Oh, okay, let's gear up and ram someone. How about this guy? Uh, whoops, sorry. Oh, someone ran me, how dare they? All right, we're gonna turn around. We're gonna get lined up. And we're gonna do a super battering ram charge. Oh. All right, uh, still difficult to, still difficult to control a little bit. See everyone out there spinning around on the ice. Let's, let's ram them. 
Ah! There we go. Oh, someone rammed me. I guess I, I guess I deserve it because I was I was trying to ram somebody. Oh, let's just do a spin. See how fast we can go. Woo! <laughs> oh my gosh, this is nauseating. All right, enough of that nonsense. Oh, jeez. Again, I've never done ice skating. I may, I don't know, I may think about trying it at some point. I just saw someone fall down. It just really freaks me out. Like, I always worry you could break your ankle, or you could slip and fall on the ice, or that your ice skates could cut you somehow. I don't know, there's a lot of fear attached to it. I just always think about, like, as I saw people falling earlier, and they put their hands down on the ice to, to stop them, and I was thinking, like, what if they slipped and their, their ice skate ran over their finger and cut their finger off? I don't know, these are the things I worry about. Maybe I could just get someone to push me around on one of those seals. It's a miniature carousel in here. It's included in the wristband. I didn't get a chance to ride the mountain coaster, so might as well, uh, might as well hop aboard the carousel. They do have these, uh, these teacup style carts there. All right, not a lot of horses left, so I'm gonna hop on this little one here. <laughs> All right, and we are going, and this may be the smallest steed that I have ever rode. It's got, it's like, it does, it does rock, so get a little bit of rocking to it. Woohoo! Oh, go pony! Carousel go round here. Oh yeah, I can see the ice skating rink from the carousel. Delightful, delightful little ride. It's kind of rare to find the rocking horses on the uh, on the carousel. <laughs> oh, and our ride has ground to a stop. That'll do, little guy. That'll do. You got a seat. I guess this is where you get your official Ober merch. See the Ober mountain shirt there. And I am getting very close to start collecting these. These mini building blocks you find at different tourist attractions where you can actually build the uh, tram car there. Oh, I really like that. I don't know. I, 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 sometimes sometime I'm going to pull the trigger on collecting these. You can see the little shot glasses there. Always a classic thing to collect the shot glasses. Look at this one. It's like, it's like a little Stanley. It's a little Ober Yeti there. And uh, if you're keeping track at home, this Yeti, this Yeti has horns. The black bears there. And this is, I don't know what you would call this. Uh, leave a comment in the comment section what you would call this. It's not really a snow globe, but it's like oil and water separated. So the bears kind of like ride on top of the oil. Get a mini version in a keychain. A little tram car Christmas ornament. That's pretty fun. Woohoo! Going to the top of the mountain. It is kind of like a little mall in here. There's uh, some different stores up the stairs. It's a leather shop right there. Looks like they sell different types of purses and other bits of leather. And what's this? International Heritage. Family crests, etc. Also, oh, you can get like a family crest there where it has your family name and uh, that talks about your family. Oh, this is cool. Only $700 for a full suit of armor. There's a bunch of puzzles back here. <laughs> a lot of people in my family love doing puzzles. I don't know that I necessarily have uh, the patience for it. I think it is time to board the tram and head back down the mountain. A lot of people trying to get back down the mountain right now. Headed out here to wait for our tram. Oh, that's right. Oh, 
told you to on it. Mom, get ready. It's that thing. And our oh, chariot. Oh, wait. <laughs> it's pretty light. <laughs> All right, here we go. Get a spot here in front so we can watch our descent. Yeah, right here. We got another another full tram. Right over the trees. Oh, there's the city. Look at the pretty lights, yeah. It's so pretty. City of Gatlinburg there. I can see the Space Needle. I can see Anakista. The other, the other tram passing by us. The last one. The last one. The last one. Why do I look like a spaceship? Tower. There's the final tower. Hold on. <laughs> All right, making our landing back down in Gatlinburg. And all the people spilling out of the tram. Landed back down at the lower portion of Ober. Looks like some of the gift shops down here are already closed. This is the uh, Lacante Deli. They have a pepper palace down here. There is so many different pepper palaces in the Gatlinburg Pigeon Forge area. This is closed too. So the shops in here close fairly, uh, fairly early. But 2024 is the year of the pressed penny here on the Carpet Beggar channel, and we do need to get us a pressed penny for the day. Unfortunately, they don't have any that say uh, Ober Mountain or Ober Gatlinburg. They probably got rid of the ones that said Ober Gatlinburg and haven't replaced them. Um, this has Cherokee, North Carolina on it, which is actually pretty interesting. I guess this maybe this whole penny machine came from Cherokee. They also have a Native American figure there. So, yeah, I'm a. Uh, I'll grab a penny. Quarter, quarter penny. So I got a black bear penny, since we saw some bears today. And I went ahead and got the Native American penny as well. So a wonderful day here at uh, Over Mountain, formerly known as Over in Gatlinburg. Had a good time. I, the, 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 the mountain coaster thing was obviously a, uh, a bummer because I really wanted to ride the mountain coaster. Um, so I wouldn't, th th that's not going to affect my decision to come back here, um, but I would just make different plans next time I come back to Obergat. I'm going to make sure we're going to hit that mountain coaster first thing. And this advice for you guys, if you're coming out here to Obergatlinburg, hit the mountain coaster first. Apparently it gets quite the, quite the line. But uh, thank you guys so much. Uh, for joining me today here at Ober. Uh, if you like these videos, please subscribe. I travel around the country, I film roadside attractions, amusement parks, museums, haunted houses, and other fun, random stuff. If you'd like to uh, help support the channel, consider contributing to Patreon. $3 or more gets you a postcard once a month from me to you. Also, selling enamel pins, pressed pennies, and stickers in the Etsy shop and doing personalized messages on Cameo. All the information for those things is in the description for this video. And all those things help keep this train on the track, this boat in the water, and this tram car high in the air. Until next time, my friends, this one's in the bag.